Okay, so in this video, I just want to really quickly show you how we can use or how we can simplify radicals with the help of rational exponents. So we're going to look at just these four examples here. And I think like if we compare them together, that'll kind of help make sense of the left lesson. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite all of these with rational exponents. And then I'm just going to see what happens. And just as a quick reminder, this is the rule of converting radicals to rational exponents. So in these cases, the index will be what goes on bottom, and then these exponents here will be what goes on top. So, okay, if I want to apply this rule then to like this first one. So this is a square root, so we assume that there's an invisible 2 there. So this is just going to be 7 to the 2 over 2. So what does this equal? Well, this just equals 7. And, and we probably already knew that. OK, so let me um, make some space. So this next one is actually a little interesting because it has a, a twist to it, I guess. Because 9 can actually be rewritten as a square, right? So some of these you have to kind of think about a little bit. So this would be like 3 squared squared. <laughs> Right, so 9 is 3 squared, and then I'm squaring all of that. And using what I know about exponent rules, I can now multiply these two together. So this can actually be rewritten as 3 to the 4th. And now I can rewrite this as a rational exponent. So this will be 3 to the, so this is what goes on top. And then this is the bottom one, so this will be 4 over 2. So this just equals 3 squared. And then again, that just equals 9. So I know that we could have just canceled them out, but I, I wanted to just kind of play around with the exponents for a moment. Um, just so you can kind of see the different ways, I guess, that you can think about this. But yeah, so it still equals 9. Okay, so if you feel like you understand this, I would say maybe just pause real quick and see how you can simplify these last two, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so for this next one, so I'm just going to rewrite this as x. So the 15 goes on top, the 3 goes on bottom. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so this is just x to the fifth. And then for this last one, so the 2 goes on top, the 4 goes on bottom. So this will simplify then to x to the 1 half, and that can be rewritten as a square root. So you kind of go on an adventure, so to speak, of rewriting these with rational exponents, and then you just kind of see what happens. And sometimes it might not even be a radical, and then sometimes you might write it as a different radical. So it just kind of depends on the problem. Okay, so this was just a short and sweet video on that topic. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Toodaloo!